What is up, man? NFL 25 Gamers. In today's episode of Scheme of the Week, we'll be taking a look at the wing offset week formation found in the Green Bay Packers playbook. The play we're going to focus on today is the inside zone split. Guys, you know this from last week's uh, offensive scheme. Really like the uh, inside zone split. Also, really like the counter. Unfortunately, we're, we're not using that as our base formation this week. Thus, we can't use the counter as our home run hitting run play. If you want to do that, you want to add it to your customs, you're more than welcome to. But in my opinion, if you're wanting the stock Green Bay playbook, inside zone split will get the job job done. Our, uh, real quick, we'll go through this again. Everything's the same from last week. PA zone, vertical, all that's the same. The PA zone we like to use uh, as a quick slant against man. And also, another thing we like about it is if they're run committing up the middle to stop our inside zone uh, split, then what we like to do is we like to place AJ Green on a streak. And what happens is when they run commit, they're going to be wide open to the streak because the play action will hold the safeties. And then you can just lob that streak over the top with Josh Johnson having a pretty big arm. You can get you can get by with that. So if they start run committing, you want to call upon the PA zone play. Vertical tight end cross, basically all we do is we put two out routes on the outside or comeback routes. Our first read is going to be our tight end out of the backfield. If they're in man, if they're in zone blitz, if they're not using that route, it's going to be open. And we know that and we're going to take advantage of that. And then lastly, if they are in two men under, let me back up a little bit. If they are in two men under, and we see, and, and they are in there, and they're using the uh, the route to the tight end, um, or yeah, the route to, to Gresham here, then you're gonna have Eifert over the top. So you're gonna wait, 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 wait. He lights up, and then you're just gonna lob it over the top. And if they're in, the, if they're in a situation where they could possibly make a play on it, try to use or catch it. If not. It typically will be wide open um, against two man under. That's what I love about this play. It's a really good deep pass. Um, a lot of people, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this uh, that route. So be sure to add that to your playbook. If you guys need a little bit more information on the wing offset week, come back or go back earlier on last week. We broke down it as our base formation. And we showed you how to do a lot of different things from it. And then uh, let me see here, curls. We don't need to go over curls. That's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so then all we need to go over is the inside zone split. So basically inside zone split. You're just kind of, you, your idea is you really want to go back. So you want to cut the ball back across the grain. That's the idea. And a lot of times, you know, if, they base, if they're not base aligned, that's always open. If they do base align, it, it, which is this situation here, they're going to base align it for you. It's going to have a little, it's going to get a little, you see you're going to get hit right there. So what can you do to avoid that? Well, if you see that they're base aligned, they have numbers. So you're basically just reading where they're weak. So here... If I baseline and I show blitz, this is actually a fairly decent run defense at a nickel strong. Show blitz, look. You're strong left, but you're weak right. So here what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot through the right gap and follow our blockers down the hole. The cool part about the inside zone split is you can run left, you can run right, and you can run right down the middle. There was the left, there was the right, and now we're going to show you what happens if they're just standard baseline defense. Stock defense, we're, they're weak in the middle. We're going to force it right up the gut for a quick five, six yards. That's our basic run uh, out of this playbook, and we're going to use this when we want to pound the rock in those short yard situations like third and two third and three and uh, this run can uh, provide a lot of big play potential and uh, for a little bit more breakdown on the wing offset we check out the video from last week uh, gives you a little bit more insight into what I do with this uh, formation and then real quick uh, one other thing out of the PA zone uh, the late read on this is that deep post shot to Hawkins a lot of times it's going to be man and zone, so just know that. Um, the only time it won't be zone is if they disguise cushion coverage and pass commit. So here I'll show you what that looks like. So here they disguise cushion coverage and they pass commit. So what you're going to have is you're going to have that comeback route on the left side. So always going to be something open. You just got to go through your progressions. And uh, for like I said, for added breakdown on that pass play, check that out last week. We used it a lot more. We're not going to use it a lot this week. The primary focus uh, from this formation is that running play. That's why I wanted to show you left, right, and middle uh, and how to do that. So thanks for watching today, guys. Appreciate your support. If you have any other questions or need uh, a little bit more information, I know I went pretty fast today. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you have feedback for me, awesome. If you want to criticize me or if you want to give me praise, uh, anything you guys say to me, uh, I take to heart. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.